audience this big before. <laughs> Makes me ask myself, what's the big attraction? <laughs> Is it this? Real eagle feathers. Beautiful, isn't it? Or this. Ojibwe beadwork from Bear Island, Lake Tamagami. And this. Gift from the chief of the Sioux peoples. Oh, this. I guess that's about as far as I can go. <laughs> Is it me? I don't think so. I'm not entitled to wear this war bonnet. I'm not a hero or a prophet. Like most of us, I've done what I've had to do to get by. The only thing that gives me the courage to stand before you tonight is the knowledge, the certainty, that what I'm saying is crucial to our survival. We're not the lords of this earth. We're its children. We rely on the lap of creation and the strong arms of a spirit greater than our own. You know I'm gonna say protect the beaver. You know I'm gonna say stop cutting down the forests. You know I'm gonna say the money you get isn't worth the price you pay. But here's some more. If we can say that there are some things that are not for sale, that there are some things that belong to all of us and to future generations, then maybe other people will hear us and begin to say it too. And someday there'll be enough of us and we'll believe that it can be done, that we can change the world. So why don't we start in our own country, in Canada, here, tonight? He never spoke in public again. <laughs>